Good morning, how are you doing? Well, I've not done a full length video for a while. Um, it's been really, really dif difficult recently, and not just because of the crappy weather we've been having here in the UK, but uh, I've been redeveloping my website, redeveloping the courses that I run, um, ready for people to book onto, and I'll get into a little bit of that later on. Um, but it's just been really difficult to get out, and I was desperate to get out, so I thought, where can I go where I'm gonna see loads of stuff, and it's gonna be absolutely fantastic. So where did I pick? Well, I don't know whether anybody recognises the scene behind me, but I'm at uh, RSPB Bempton Cliffs, which, as people will now be screaming at the video, you need to go there in the spring and the summer when the seabirds are nesting. You know, we've got all the gannets, etc., and the puffins. Um, yes, that is probably the best time to come here, but there's stuff here all year round, and if I can highlight that today, then, you know, that'll be good in one way but I just really wanted it somewhere nice and perhaps a little bit quieter. I do know they've got some short-eared owls up here at the minute and I think they've had a hen harrier as, as well around so I'm actually at the owl viewing area at the minute. I'm just going to stick around here for an hour or so and see if I can see anything. Then I'll have a walk around, see what I can find and yeah we'll, we'll just see what happens. Um, you know it's probably not you don't get many videos where they're done at Bempton Cliffs in November so um, yeah, we'll see what we can find, but it's absolutely gorgeous just being out here today after doing all that computer work, uh, which has completely frazzled my brain. There's no um, agenda to this video, so there's no uh, script being written. I know you can't tell the difference. Get away with you. That's, uh, <laughs> I do put a lot of effort into these videos normally, so we'll see how this one comes out. But yeah, it's a bit of a Voyager discovery really the wrong time of year to be here but i don't care um i'm gonna see what i can find and yeah see what's happening i'll catch you in a bit I've been here about an hour now and uh, after the road here, just after that, um, a short-eared owl came into this scrubby section of field here and uh, I only just managed to see it because I was talking to um, Ashley from Wildlife Photographer UK, he's, he's got his own YouTube channel as well so we we're having a bit of a, a natter as you do and uh, probably ignoring what was going on around us. But we, I managed to get a little bit of film of the short-eared owl, but it did stay at a distance. It didn't actually come as close as we'd like it to. But he was telling me that there was a lot of owls up here yesterday. Um, he's up here for the weekend, so hopefully we might get some more action. I don't know whether you can see this hedgerow behind me. Uh, Ashley's just nipped off. He's, got a, he's up here with a mate, so they've gone to try, check another area out. Um, but while I was stood here, um, looking in this direction, I just happened to glance left and a female, female sparrow shot up this hedgerow, which is at the side of the car park. And I just couldn't swing the camera around in time and get any shots, but yeah, it's all action. So yeah, it's been, let's say I've only moved 30 yards from the car park. It's not, not been too bad at all so far. I will get around the reserve because I do want to check out some other areas, but it's really difficult to leave somewhere when you've had something in this area and you know it's probably not gone too far away and could come back in this direction so i'm going to give it a little bit longer hopefully the light will improve again we've got a little bit of cloud around at minute but yeah i'll catch up with you in a bit
Well, I've just um, switched locations for a bit. Um, talking to Ashley, obviously you can see this bit's a li little bit better lit with the light um, at this time of day, because you're looking straight down this field here. Um, and the owls can actually turn up anyway. I think it's going to be a bit of a short-eared owl day today. Maybe we'll get a barn owl, I don't know, but I'm here all day, so we'll just keep his eye out and see what we can see. But uh, it's just such a beautiful day to be here. And there's, there's quite, still quite a few people around, so uh, you can imagine what it's like in summer, though. It's, uh, yeah, there's a lot more people than this, but... Um, I'm just hoping that one of these short-eared owls will just hunt up this field towards me. When we get this lovely light like this, it would be absolutely stunning, but, you know, it's been nice to see one actually this morning already, so um, if we get anything else, it'll be a bonus. But as I say, I'm here all day, so uh, hopefully we'll get something else, but uh, we'll just keep at it and, and see what happens. So also what I need to tell you about is this. This is the Scott Tilly Photography Calendar for 2024. Um, some of my favourite images really from the last year. I don't know if you can see that on the back. But you can currently pick that up on the website while they're still available. Um, again, I'll put a link to that in the description below. So if you want one of those, uh, there's limited numbers available. So they're on the website. Right, I don't know how sensible this decision is going to be or not, but we had two short-eared owls in the field behind us here from this owl viewing area and they've both shot over in front of the visitor centre into the field in front and literally every photographer has disappeared um, apart from me I just love the light here and the um, I don't know that I just feel like potentially they're going to come back into this field or we're going to get some more there were a couple I think they've had five or six on occasion so I think I'm going to stick it out here and see if we get anything come back. Could be the wrong decision. I know that uh, Wildlife Photographer UK um, is going to tell me <laughs> if he comes back up because he's shot off like a rocket down to the bottom and he's obviously got a, he's been here for the last couple of days so he knows the sort of patterns of these owls so he's probably going to be bang on right. Um, but we'll see, that's the interesting thing. But the light is absolutely gorgeous now. So uh, let's see what we can do. Right, I've been uh, talking about Ashley all day from Wildlife Photographers UK, your site? Wildlife Photographer UK, yep. Um, and you've not really seen him because we've, we've had a bit of a uh, performance going on whereby I think Ashley, you're more likely to move around a lot more than I am and I've been yeah. sort of stoically staying in one position. Yeah. And um, I'm not sure who's come out on top really, probably no, neither of us. neither of us I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> They've just not been where we have been. No. I mean, we've got some images and um, some nice silhouettes. Yeah, nice silhouettes. And <laughs> unfortunately, the light died at the last minute. We were hoping it was going to come up and light 
this field are because there's literally, I mean, how many, got a couple, at least two or three barn owls and yeah, five, five four or five uh, short eared owls. Yeah. But Merlin. it's just, and a Merlin that we, we saw and um, missed. missed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just, yeah, power for the course, really. But um, it's been absolutely fun. I've really enjoyed it up here today. I didn't really expect to get a lot at all with it not being sort of in season for. Yeah, it's been a good day, hasn't it? It's it has, yeah. Um, so yeah, it's definitely one I'll be doing again. Um, check out Ashley's videos in Wildlife Photography, Photography UK. UK. I'll yep. leave a link in the description yep. below and uh, you can watch some of his stuff. Really great uh, content. I've got quite a bit to catch up on actually because he's just told me about another video I haven't seen. So, um, I shall <laughs> yeah, be watching like, Likewise, I've got a few viewers to catch up yeah, on. So. Uh, yeah. We're just so busy, you see, dude, getting yeah. all this content out for you. but. Um, yeah. The light's gone. Well, We're demand, going. Demand is high. It is. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, the will is weak, really. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you next time for another one. Right. Cheers. Cheers.